So this is the fan. They, they, oh my god! Hi ho Bigglesworth! Hello and welcome to Hi ho Bigglesworth. My name is Timothy Battlehump and this is the Talos Principle. So we're in the creepy Egyptian area. Uh, last time I unlocked the fan, which is a fan. It, it, it blows air, probably. <laughs> we're not going to be finding out what it does today, though, because I got my 10th star. Which means that I can go back to World A. I can jump. Yeah. I can go back to World A and I can go into the star area. And, and solve some star puzzles to get some grey sigils. Just to add to my collection along the top, because I've got yellow, I've got green, I've got red. Which I don't know what they do. And I've got stars. And now we're going to have grey. I don't know what any of them do, except for well, the green ones and the yellow ones, I know what they do. The fuck was that creepy noise? I don't care. Right, let's go back to A and do some star puzzling. Yeah, I think the star puzzles are going to be extra difficult. Because considering that the stars are quite difficult to get, just just to get them, what are the puzzles going to be like? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're really good at getting these stars. Here's some puzzles for you that are going to be extra difficult. I don't even know if I'm going to need the other tools yet. I might I might need to un unlock all the tools before I can do the star puzzles. Who knows? Right, so let's solve this. There are... Uh, th there's, there's ten things. But there are two of each. Wait, wait. No, that's, that's a different one. Okay. See, I thought that because they're all the same, like they're the same, that I could just uh, split this in half and just solve two halves, but this one is different. Although that shouldn't really make a difference. Let's try it. Let's 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 put this in the bottom corner. Let's make an L, and let's put this in the other corner. Make an, make a backwards L, and then just try and solve it as two halves. Yeah. So straight up the middle, in between these, straight up there, there's going to be a line. Possibly. I don't know. I should probably just solve one side rather than... There we go, I've done it! Yeah, that was easy! That was too easy, if you ask me, considering how many pieces there are. I thought it'd be more difficult than that, but no, it's not. I opened it, and now I'm a bit wary. Three grey pieces. And no stars. Oh, why would you hide stars in a star world? <laughs> Doesn't make sense, does it? Obviously there's a beeping I computer. Okay. And yet your will is free because yeah. you were made to be free. Okay. It is the very principle of your existence without which the trials of this world would hold no meaning. Okay. To seek salvation must be your choice. What, what what does that mean? Am I not supposed to be here? I'm doing it anyway, bitch. Yeah, let's 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 go on be the uh, Let's let's look at these. Fucking hell. Okay. Talos to email. Human blood dot text. Archive important dot email. Six in dot image. That's just an image. Okay. Let's open Talos to email. From Alexander Drennan to Noematics mailing list. Subject NML Talos principle. Have you heard of the Talos principle? It's this old philosoph philosophical concept about the impossibility of avoiding reality. No matter what you believe, if you lose your blood, you will die. I think that applies to our situation more than we'd like to admit. We could close our eyes and pretend that everything is going to be alright, but it won't change the physical reality of what's going to happen to our bunch of numbers. Now, I have solved these bunch of numbers. They are, um, you, you get the hex number, and then you turn it into a decimal number, and then that decimal number is the ASCII code for the letter that you're going to be using. But... The ones that I solved were gibberish. They had nothing to do with the actual content of that. So I'm just going to look up what this one is. Because I can't be bothered solving it. <laughs> I'm sure there's a list of them somewhere. Okay, so all the numbers on this one translate to... No man is liberated from fear who dare not see his place in the world as it is. No man can achieve the greatness of which he is capable until he has allowed himself to see his own littleness. See, it... I, I, I don't know what they're for. They're just like little easter eggs, I think. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they'll be important later on. Who knows? But for now, they're just little easter eggs. And if I need to solve them, then I will. But 
Otherwise, no, I'll just ignore them for now. Okay, I think that, as scientists, it is our duty to face the truth, and to ask ourselves the most important question, how can we help? Uh, I think I have an idea, <laughs> just in the middle of all the numbers at the bottom. Uh, regards, Alexandra. Okay, close that. Let's open humanblood.txt. <laughs> it is said by some that our blood is composed of infinite living agents which go up and down the highways and byways of our bodies as people in the streets of a city. A uh, bunch of numbers. One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever, function, bunch of numbers, and the sleep of the town, how lifelike, with its change in the circulation. Butler Samuel, we are misled by considering any complicated machine as a single thing. In truth, it is a city or society, each member of which was bred truly after its kind. I'm just going to look up their numbers, just in case. I may as well. Uh, and the word was made flesh. Yeah, fucking hell. Okay, I've just looked at um, the next set of numbers. I I'm going to have to work that out or something, maybe. Okay, uh, from Arkady Chernyshevsky to 504 recipients. Subject archive. I'll keep this short. You all know me, so you know that I know what, what I'm talking about. I realise that you're all working on projects meant to somehow avert the catastrophe we are facing, but you must all concede that there is a very real possibility that you will not have enough time to find a solution. I believe that we cannot afford to ignore an extinction or near extinction scenario. We must prepare for the worst. That is to say, we must seek to preserve the non-biological components of what constitutes the human species, in the hope they be recovered in the future by other local or non-local scientists. Oh, sentience. I know that we are not used to thinking on that scale, not in terms of praxis, but if we truly value humanity, then we must act immediately. You'll find the details of my proposal in the attachment, but the short version is this, the creation of multiple archives for redundancy in safe locations that will contain, in digital form, as much information about our species, including all cultural work, scientific insights, history, DNA, as can be gathered in the given time frame, this will be massive global undertaking. Uh, some some corrupted shit with el naturally being one of the corruption error cannot find attachment yeah fine uh, let's open uh, whatever that is dot image that's an image of the tower yeah so where the fuck was the where the fuck was the archive important were there num there weren't numbers in that were there there's no numbers in it. Are there? Uh, maybe. Okay, that error code at the top is the numbers. Okay, uh, it's G1 colon 26. I have no idea what that means. I'm going to look it up. It might be like a reference to something. Okay, so it, it, it's a reference to Genesis in the Bible. Uh, then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all creatures that move along the ground. See, when you decode these things, they, they don't seem to be actually useful. Although it, it's... it's sort of makes sense, because the whole thing is an archive. It, it holds all the data, the human knowledge and stuff. I, I don't know what that means. Six star star. Fucking... I, I, I have no idea. Right. I'm not looking for stars in here, but I'm still going to explore. I, I see a fan. So do I have to unlock all of the things? I can't fucking... Fucking bastard. <laughs> so there's um, there's this up here. A, a, a jammer thing. But I can't reach it because the, the thing's boarded up. Yeah. I, I don't know if I need this stuff or not. So this is the fan. They, they, oh my god! Dumb, dumb mine! I just got launched into this puzzle area. I could have just walked in here. Right, so I'm doing this puzzle first, apparently. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, the it's an archive. The uh, computer thing. So it holds all the... Th no, because I've already said that. I, I, I'm completely confused now. I'm not sure if I need all of the tools or what to do these puzzles. I need keys. I need to stop a laser thing. I don't even know. I think, I think I need to have unlocked all the things to do this shit, don't I? 
because the keys are there. I need a jammer, and I know where to get the jammer. Yeah, it's from the fucking... Yeah, that's how you solve that puzzle. You get that jammer, and then you step on the fan, and it launches you into the puzzle area. But you've got the jammer. You don't have to take it through the through the purple shit door thing. So I, I need all the tools to do these puzzles, don't I? Bastard. Let's try this puzzle, at least. Right, jammed from within. Right, there's my grey sigil. Jammed from within. There's, there's keys. I need them keys, bitch. And we're going to try and get them. No one seems to have been to this area, because I haven't seen any of the, um, the markings. Right. All I need to do is get the keys. Fine. That shouldn't be too difficult. Should it? I don't know. Ah, piss off. Right, uh... Ah, I'm gonna have to wait for it to go to the right. And then I... Piss off. Now we can go around here, get this jammer. Jammer! And then we're gonna have to, um... Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, this, this is gonna be challenging. Is it? Yes, it is. Fuck off. Okay, ah! Okay, right, jam that. Go out. And then once it goes to the left, if it doesn't bounce off the jammer, don't bounce off it. Bastard. Okay. Alright, we're going to have to jam it here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, don't hit the jammer this time. Don't hit the jammer. There we go. Okay, and then we grab the jammer. And then we can get through here. Right. There's a ladder here, which will lead to another area. I did see another jammer. There. Because I can't get this jammer out of here. So I need another jammer to continue. So we're going to have to use the ladder. And then we're over here. We're almost at the keys. That's the important bit, getting them fucking keys. Right. Wait, there are two sets of keys. Why are there so many keys? Oh, God. Okay, if we unjam that. But then... Right, I can't. I was hoping I could get this jammer to over there so I could get both jammers, but no. I can't. So what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Right. Uh, jam that. Uh, okay. Jam, jam it. Jam it. Okay. Let the fucking thing go through. Ah no! Bastard! Okay. Go. Go through. Go through. Go through. Go through. There we go. Okay. And then we can uh, do the same thing again. Let that one come through. Why am I doing it from there? I need to do it from here, don't I? Yeah. Let, let the bomb come through. Unjam that. Unjam that. Ah, shit! Bastards. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, I'm so close to getting hit. Get through. No, don't be a bastard. Come on. Get through that fucking gate thing. All right. All right, get it. Go, go through, go through, go through, go through. Yeah. Ha ha! You're both trapped in there now, bitches. And I get these keys. Yeah. Right, so them keys unlock this door. But why can't they unlock the sigil door? I don't know. We're just going to use one here. And then go through here. And then open that. Where there's a bomb. Which I'm just going to run past. Yeah. That was easy. Ah! They're not homing bombs, are they? No, they're, they're just bouncing on an angle. Fucking hell. Okay. Shouldn't be too difficult to avoid. There we go. And then we'll just get around this one. That was easy enough. Okay, so I don't get... I don't quite understand why the second set of keys has to use beyond that door. Okay, open that. And go, go through, go through. Go on. Bastard. Okay, and then, and then open that. There we go. Okay, and now we can get through here. We can grab that jammer, jam that, and run through. And now we've got the sigil, the grey sigil. Which does... Six. Six. That just says six. I don't even know what the six means. But I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so there's three 
three grey sigils per star area, probably. Seeing as I've got one, <laughs> and there's nine altogether, and there's three in this area. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't really have to explain that, did I? But I did anyway. Yes, so let's get this sigil. Nerve wrecker! Oh, fucking hell, I, I, I'm already a nervous wreck! Yeah, I don't need to have my nerves wrecked anymore, bitches. Right, fucking hell. There's a jammer. Obviously, we're going to be using that. There's two jammers. Right, so if I just put this first jammer down. If I jam that. And then jam that bomb. And then, oh, fuck. Right, we're going to let that bomb through. Yeah, and then jam it, jam it, jam that bomb, jam that bomb. That's bounced. So now, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm fucking doing! Right. We're gonna... No, we can't do that, can we? Okay, while, while that's bouncing away, I can unjam that. Ah! Okay, come in, in, in. Ah! Fucking hell! Okay. Uh, we jam open that door. Then we can grab this. Yeah! Let that bomb go through. Yeah, and then run through. And then pick up that. Okay, uh, go through. Ha ha! Ha ha! We swapped positions. And now, what the fuck, man? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay. So we're gonna let this one come through. No! Don't bounce. Oh, you fucking bastard. Bastard. Okay. Come through. Okay, now you go over there, and go through that, there we go, we've got all three of them trapped in there, and then, oh for fuck's sakes man, how am I supposed to get through this bit? Okay, just, just put that there, and then we're going to have to jam that, so that I, I can... They've, they've swapped positions now. Well, they haven't swapped positions, they're just not in sync anymore. Okay, if we jam that, okay. Now, we're gonna let, we're gonna open that and let through the middle bomb again. <laughs> I fucking hate these bombs. <laughs> right, you, you go, go, go into the next section. Yeah, go on. Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, I see the sigil. I, I just wanna get the sigil. Ah! Okay, uh... Right. Oh, fuck! Oh, no! I have to start it again! Go away! Bomb bastard. Alright, so I need to switch positions now, don't I? Fucking jam that there, and then run over here. Yeah. Okay. Now, I need to... Put this jammer aiming at the door there. Okay, now wait for that to go. Just wait for it to be on the other side and then we will test. No, no, that can't go there. Okay. We've got to do it here. There we go. Okay, grab that. Yeah, that's trapped there. Haha. -ha. Fuck off. Okay, jam that. Okay. Get the sigil! I got it! I did it! Yes! Oh, fucking hell, that was a bastard. That was a fucking bastard fucking thing. Oh my god. Okay. Right, so. That's that's all the sigils I can get here. <laughs> Them puzzles aren't too difficult. Tap your hand, yeah. But, I need all the things. Aha! Hello! Few come this far, but I believe we must seek out the secrets of this world if we want to truly serve the generations to come. S3L4 feel, version 49. Yeah, okay. Not many people come here, apparently. I can see why. It's a bit of a shithole, isn't it? <laughs> Is there another message over here? No, so that that's it. That's, that's it for this bit. It was nice and easy and short. Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. Six star star. I have no idea. It's because we're unlocking six, maybe. I don't even know. 
But that, that's it. Yeah. Se seeing as that was over relatively quickly, I'm going to go and read another computer thing. After a jump, randomly, yeah. Because there was a computer under uh, Area C. So I'm going to go and read that now. Because I was leaving it until I go to C, but... I may as well just unlock it all now, shouldn't I? Just, just read the computer shit, and then that'll be it for today. And then next time we can continue with the... Don't be creepy! Fucking creepy shits. Right, there's C. It was under it. Underneath it. Oh, hello, paint bucket! I'm going to write a message on this wall. Okay. Pick up the paint bucket and paint a message. Uh... Yeah, I've now travelled this land extensively and I can say without hesitation that this is the most beautiful spot. Yeah. I don't know why I've said that. But you can't write your own messages, you just got to choose for what you're given. Yeah. Right, so this computer is hidden under here. Why are you hidden, computer? Uh, what are we going to have? Questioning doubt, conf, par partition, and him. Okay, yeah, questioning doubt. Keynote speech by N. Sarabhai. Questioning doubt. They say doubt everything, but I disagree. Doubt is useful in small amounts. But not too much of it. Uh, but too much of it leads to apathy and confusion. No, don't doubt everything. Question everything. That's the real trick. Doubt is just a lack of certainty. If you doubt everything, you'll doubt evolution, science, faith, morality, even reality itself. And you'll end up with nothing. Because doubt doesn't give anything back. But questions have answers, you see? If you question everything, you'll find that a lot of what we believe is untrue. But you might also discover that some things are true. You might discover what your own beliefs are. And then you'll question them again and again, eliminating flaws, discovering lies, until you get as close to the truth as you can. Question questioning is a lifelong process. That's precisely what makes it so unlike doubt. Questioning engages with reality, interrogating all it sees. Questioning leads to a constant assault on the intellectual status quo, where doubt is far more likely to lead to resigned acceptance. After all, when the possibility of truth is doubtful, excuse the pun, why not simply play along with the most convenient lie, corruption? Questioning is progress, but doubt is stagnation. Fine. Partition.im from Rob McLean to Ian Mailing List, Archive Project, EL Partition. Hi folks, this is just to let you know for reasons of convenience and security, we've partitioned EL into two separate systems. The Talos team will be working on EL0, while the Archive team will be working on EL1. You might also notice an EL2 partition, but don't worry about that, it's just the operating system doing its thing. Cheers, Rob. Okay, whatever. Him.imul. From Bob Rakovsky to Alexandra Drennan. Subject, him. Hey Alex, I agree that we need something that will keep all the modules working together. Evaluate corruption, a final test. And I think I have the perfect solution. It's called the Holistic Integration Manager. A fancy name for something a lot like, dun like a dungeon master in pen and paper RPGs. We created it to help run some MMOs back in the day. We needed something that would be able to unite procedurally generated and user submitted content into coherent whole into a coherent whole so the game wouldn't become too chaotic and inconsistent. It's a genuine AI, somewhat limited in its ability to grow, but capable of parsing and understanding text, images, audio, even video. It takes all the information it can find, interprets it, and then builds and maintains a world based on that. It's not perfect, but we don't have a lot of time, and it would be easy to adapt the code for our purposes. In fact, come to think of it, some of it is actually based on routines that you suggested in that paper on. Okay, so... I think I'm starting to understand what's going on now. There was, there was some massive disaster, like an asteroid or something was about to hit Earth. So, rather than lose everything that everyone had worked towards, like all of the, the philosophies, all the artwork, all of the theories, all the scientific stuff, rather than lose all of that, everyone just piled it all together into one archive. That's where, that's, well, that's not where I am. This, this is the real world, I think. Uh, uh, during another ice age, yeah, Af after whatever happened, and the um, the bits that I can go into, they're the archive. That's that's the surviving archive stuff. 
and they made an AI to look after the archive. That's either Elohim or the thing that I talked to inside the computer. One of them is an AI, well they're both an AI, but one of them is was the one that was created to look after the archive or something. I have no fucking idea. I'm going to read that messages because I don't think I read them before. Uh, the designer has granted me deep domain over the lands I've travelled with the cities of power. I think I read that. I don't fucking know. Okay, let's let's head back to B, and then next time we'll continue on. We'll learn how the fans work, because well, I, I I've I've used a fan, but I don't know. Is there, is there more to them? Can you use them for other things? Can you fling boxes and stuff? Who knows? We'll find out next time. Maybe. <laughs> it depends on which puzzles are there. Let's go and have a look at the sigils that will be available in the next area. This is a very long way down. Or, or it's, it's a very slow lift because you can see light. You can see the outside world. Or can you? Is that, is that a fake place? I don't know. So here we go. We've got. We have to use fans. Yeah. So we're gonna get. We're gonna get enough. No, we're not. Ah, oh, you bastard. Okay. So we're gonna get two of the pieces required to build the next tool, but not the last piece. No. That that's weird. Okay. We'll we'll be getting it there. Yeah, we'll be getting it there. Okay. So fine. So next time, well, two, four things, one star. It'll be fun. <laughs> so I've been Timothy Babblehump. This has been the Talos Principle. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>